Alright, today I'm going to show you how to get a oxygen sensor out of a 88 F250 or other vehicles. Now, I had trouble with using the oxygen sensor uh, socket. You can see it's right here. It's a really tight area. So I stripped it out. I couldn't get it. I tried different anti-seize lubricants. Um, I have tried uh, this stuff. W36 and WD40. Nothing worked. So I looked at some research and found a Strator uh, socket. Now you're going to need a 7 8 to 22 millimeters. And if you see, oh, I can't focus. There you go. It is different. Uh, they're curved. So it bites a hold of it and it keeps the bite. And it got it right out eventually. I used a uh, let's see here ratchet. Uh, this big ratchet right here, and I didn't have a uh, lever bar, so I put a big old open end wrench and used that as my pry bar. And eventually, it came out. No issue at all. It didn't strip the threads or anything like that. Now I've been having a lot of trouble with this uh, 88, uh, the 5.8. I, I drove it from New Jersey and uh, it was burning really rich and uh, I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. So I replaced the throttle position sensor, which is under the intake. I replaced a, I don't know if you can see it. Fill pressure regulator. I think it was a pain in the butt to get out. I had to cut an Allen key to fit it. I replaced the distributor. And uh, what else I replace? Replace a air fill valve, I think it's called. Uh, replace. Uh, what, replace the thermostat, which is down, down there. And then the air cool sensor, which is, I don't think you can see from it, it's on the intake down below. And those hoses there. I probably saw those. And uh, the spark plugs are what cleared it up. They are toasted, jet black. And also, this little guy from AutoZone helped. Plugs right in there to the computer. And it tells me what's wrong with it. Now, it came up with a bunch of different codes. Let's see. These are all the codes it came up with. Came up with the code 10, 21, 23, 24, 44, and 77. Now most of the core codes I got rid of, if you can see in the book, it breaks down. Now the only thing I'm still have to replace is the EGR valve. Um but then this one's See, they don't know much. 21 was a cooling temperature sensor. That was not working. Um, throttle position sensor was code 23, which I don't understand that. Um, I replaced that. Um, and then 44 was oxygen sensor. Uh, I replaced that, so that's gone. And 77 also is a oxygen sensor too. It's not uh, responding, so I got to so replace that. And then the other one was something to do with the air sensor. Uh, let's see, throttle position sensor to uh, cool cool temperature air sensor. So I replaced all those sensors. I placed about four to six sensors, I think it was, and uh, it's running a lot better. It sounds really good. It idles nice and smooth. Uh, the only thing that keeps on coming up once in a while on the reader is the map sensor. So I might go ahead and replace that. And here's the EGR valve. Which it looks like it is the original one for this vehicle. Now I hope I don't have any trouble with these threads. Get them out. I'm going to spray lubricant on them. And then these bolts. I hope I don't have any trouble with these bolts at all. They look like they're pretty old. 
Now, the throttle position sensor, I don't know if I need to go with the original one or what's uh, going on with it. It says it's not reading it. It says it's stuck wide open. So, I'm not really for sure. But like I said, this tool is a wonder for 88 and newer. I believe it's the 96, 97. This thing will help you out a lot to, to narrow it down. Now, most of the stuff I looked it up and I was going to replace it anyways, but this broke it down. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much what I've done to the 88 Ford. Now, there's a couple of things I still got to do. Uh, the GR valve is a little pricey. I think it's 180 at AutoZone. So, I'm going to replace that. Um, but still has a little trouble starting up in the morning. And I think it has to do with the throttle position sensor. But when I unplug it, the idle goes down low. Now, when I do research on it, it says that if it's worked properly, it'll do that. But not really understanding why it's not responding or saying it's not responding. And another thing I gotta replace is this cable, which goes to um, the transmission. Now, see all the slack in there? I don't know. If it broke or what's going on with that, but it shouldn't be that much slack in there. It should be nice and tight. So I gotta replace that. Now I did notice on the way here that I was having trouble getting into fourth gear. I believe this is a C6 transmission. And then it comes in here somewhere. I gotta find out where it goes to. But it goes to the transmission somewhere. So hopefully have this up and running and that's a couple weeks or so but yeah my main thing about this video was how to get this oxygen sensor out now if you see you focus on it see that's where it bit a hold of it and I stripped it pretty good see how it's uh, focus on it. see how it's curved now, I bought this on eBay for $18. It's 7, 8, 22. I tried all kinds of stuff. Heating it up. All these lubricants. Nothing would get loose. That guy away with a little bit of elbow grease. It got it right on out. So you might want to try that for if you have trouble with auction sensor or O2 sensors or whatever sensor you want to do. But you gotta break the piece out and so you get right into the stud because uh, this is not uh, that deep it's half drive so well good luck uh, trying to get your oxygen sensor out and uh, if you have any more comments or anything like that I want to know about the 5.8 um, running rough or anything like that like I said uh, there's a lot of sensors I didn't know that was not working that I did not know it had so um, yeah I would go from there start with your spark plugs wires next thing I need to replace is the wires AutoZone has a uh, uh, motorcraft I think is made by Ford so I'm gonna try that next and hope I get all these codes to clear out like I said it's running a lot better and it's not running so rich anymore Alrighty, uh, take care. If you like, I said, if you have any more questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask. I'll try to answer the best I can what I have done to make it run better. Um, Alright, that's it for now.